and I've just arrived at Long Hazel, and it's it's very nice. Sun's out. It's what time is it? A few minutes to five. A little bit of a chill coming in the air, but it's not cold. It's not cold at all. I've got a beer. And this this is good here. Everything seems. I'm, the van is level on the pitch. So that's really good. The facilities are great. Really clean. Keep an eye out in the top right hand corner for links to the other videos in this trip. Our March trip started off going to Kingston Lacey and then it was off to West Bay to spend the afternoon. Then to Ernie's Plot for an overnight stop. And the next day it was off to the Royal Naval Air Station Museum and an overnight at Long Hazel, followed by a trip to Haynes Motor Museum and then on to the Royal Signals Museum near Blandford. And then back home. So let's carry on with our wander around Long Hazel then. And as you can see, this is a facilities block. And we'll go around here, past the ladies' toilets, and then through to the recycling area all kept very clean and tidy by I think it's Alan who runs the site then from there we go back through the other side of the building and there's the washing up area and the disposal area for your Alson point And then there's the gents shower room here or WC you might have seen the blue light on the wall you have to make sure you press that each time you come in to trigger the light to stay on long enough otherwise if you go in and somebody else has already pressed it it goes out on its own so you'll notice the pitches here are mainly hard standings and they're what I call good hard standings because they seem reasonably level and also there's not mud coming through the gravel on quite a few sites we've been to they've been hard standings but actually there's quite a lot of mud coming through so you end up traipsing mud everywhere so generally then uh, the pitches do seem relatively close i think i always compare these things to the camping and motorhome club where you get a kind of definite space between the different pitches now i wouldn't say this is too close but it does feel not snug but closer than camping and motorhome club pitches Okay, coming back the other way then, and you see this van here, look, it's a Ducato van with a side sliding area for the lounge. That was quite interesting. I spoke to the people and they'd only recently picked it up. At the entrance to the site then you'll see a sign for the baker there. That's because you can order from the bakery, the local one, and they'll deliver to site in the mornings. That's a nice touch. Speaking about places to get food, well, there is a garage just down the road, come out of the site turn right, and it's probably about five, ten minutes walk and then going left there's a pub and I think that's less than a couple of minutes away I didn't use the pub but it looked pretty good so how much did I pay them for this site well just 26 pounds including electric hookup when I compare that to Ernie's plot link up the top now which was 32 pounds including electric hookup and the electric ran out I think this was a good buy you may see some comments about there being road noise when you're on this site I think there probably was but it was in the distance I'm quite a light sleeper and this didn't bother me at all so I think it's subjective but I didn't find it to be a problem leaving the site and turning left and about a 15 minute walk you come to a place called Sparkford now this is a hamlet a village probably more of a hamlet and there used to be a shop but there isn't any more so you need to make sure you've bought your provisions before you come to site so any niggles then? Well, the only niggle for me is that there was a push button shower and you're never going to convince me that they are necessary when everybody else that works on the campsite probably has a normal shower in their house. So in summary then, Long Hazel Park or Long Hazel Touring Park, in my opinion, it's well maintained, it's very clean. Alan, you do a great job. The local baker delivers to site, which is really useful and they have good hard standings that is to say they don't get muddy underfoot when it rains and they appear to be mostly level ish on the downside it has push button showers you're never going to convince me they're necessary 
The WC lights are on a timer that is, in my opinion, too short. I was left in the dark at one point and it's near a busy road. Now that didn't bother me and I didn't notice it and it didn't keep me awake and I'm a light sleeper but people have mentioned it in the comments. So the acid test, would I go to Long Hazel Park again? Absolutely, in a heartbeat. It's a really nice touring park. That's about it for Long Hazel Touring Park and I'll see you on the next one. Oh, hold on, did I mention about subscribing and maybe clicking the bell so you get alerted when a new video goes up?